In this video I'm going to show you how to use cheap motors with a CNC machine. One of the biggest limits to home built CNC machines is the cost of large stepper motors and controllers. There are some options for running DC motors with CNC machines but those options are usually limited by the capabilities of the typical hobbyist microcontroller. These limitations include limited time for reading feedback devices like encoders while also processing CNC commands and communicating with the host computer. As such, these devices usually only accept limited command sets and never seem to have the ability to process actual G-code. Part of the solution is GRBL which is great for motion control but cannot directly control an H-bridge which is necessary for driving a big strong and cheap DC motor. What is needed is a method to bridge GRBL with an H-bridge and allow GRBL to do what it does best send simple step commands. My solution is a simple feedback controller. The idea is to use a cheap microcontroller to read step commands sent by GRBL, send movement commands to an H-bridge, and monitor the motor's movements with an infrared encoder. This way I was able to use GRBL and cheap motors. The motors I chose for my CNC build are windshield wiper motors. I was able to get three used ones from a junkyard for $30. My CNC is a three-axis machine and I found some Arduino Nanos on Amazon at a cost of $14 for a set of three. Under $6 for a pack of 15 infrared emitters with 15 detectors. I needed one emitter and two detectors per encoder. I already had an assortment of resistors, through-hole potentiometers, and a small stack of perf boards. For H-bridges I selected the BTS 7960Bs. They were around $14 each. The approximate total cost for each axis including board, Arduino Nano, motor, H-bridge, and assorted components is around $30. Not bad for something that produces way more torque than a NEMA 23. A NEMA 23 produces around 26 inch pounds of torque while a worn out wiper motor will produce close to 15 foot pounds of torque. One foot pound equals 12 inch pounds of torque. With a NEMA 23 costing close to $40 without a controller, $30 for 7 times the torque seems like a great deal. But with everything there are trade-offs, and a wiper motor is extremely slow compared to a NEMA 23. I am not sure about the maximum speed of this motor controller, but it does not miss a step with the wiper motor running full tilt. This is how it works. Pins A0 and A1 read the direction and step pulses from the Arduino running GRBL. Pins D10 and D11 send a PWM signal or ground to the H-bridge to make the motor turn. Pin D4 sends power to the infrared LED. Pins D2 and D3 read the state of the infrared detector diodes which act as an encoder. The infrared light passes through the teeth of a homemade encoder wheel. When a tooth blocks the light to a detector, the pin on the nano connected to that detector sees voltage or a high state. When the light shines between the teeth on the encoder wheel, the detector passes voltage and pulls the pin on the nano to ground or low state. The software in the nano uses interrupts to determine when to read port C and port D. Port C is the port where step commands are read coming from GRBL. Port D is the port where the encoder state is read. The software is constantly calculating the difference between the step commands and the encoder state. The larger the difference, the stronger the signal to the H-bridge. As the difference is reduced, the signal to the H-bridge is reduced. Anytime the encoder or a step signal triggers an interrupt, the interrupt handlers are fired and the current position and target position are updated. There is a slight delay between the step commands and the motion of the motor, and there is a small amount of deviation programmed into it to prevent oscillation at rest. This results in a slight loss of precision, 
which with my encoder wheels and thread pitch on my lead screws amounts to somewhere between two ten thousandths and one thousandth of an inch. Alright, this is my experimental CNC machine. This is the root of the machine. This is my control board setup. A little messy. Crazy wiring. Let's see if we can see what's going on here. In an upcoming video, I will go line by line through the firmware for this motor controller. So hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications when new videos are released. Thanks for watching.